Uh, so we got 56 people in the room, not exactly that excited because we were supposed to have at least 80 people today. Sarah, I told you Saturdays is not a good day, Sundays. I'm pretty certain if we did this on a Sunday. Um, ooh, we have more questions from here. Shit, I didn't see all these questions. Don't worry, I'll come back to them. Um, I'm just opening another tab and I'm seeing more questions. I'll come back to them. Mr. Sonny, a gem, a gemma. I'll get back to your question. Eliona, I'll get back to your question. Anonymous attendee, I'll get back to your question. Mm -hmm. Not exactly that excited because we were supposed to have at least 80 people today. Sarah, I told All right, cool. So we're streaming live. Um, Catherine, I'll get back to your question. Mr. Chinidu, I'll get back to your question. Um, just give me a sec. Okay, don't worry, I got you guys. So, Sarah, please kindly confirm to me on my WhatsApp um, if we're streaming live on YouTube. Just want to make sure that we're streaming live on YouTube, um, just to make sure that everybody on YouTube can see. So, guys, if you can, if you're with me, you can see me, hear me clearly. Just go ahead and type Y in the question box so that I can ensure that we have if we have everybody attentive here. All right, cool. So fantastic. All right, cool. Just want to make sure I'm not blabbing that you guys are slipping off. Fantastic, cool. All right, fantastic. Go ahead and share this back again. So let's expand this. Uh, you guys can see my charts, I believe so. Yeah, you guys should be able to see my charts. I hope so. You are live on YouTube. Can you guys see my charts? Yes or no? Yeah. Shout out to you, Tyler. Thanks for that. All right, cool. So just by looking at GBP USD, um, so this is the way like I like to think about the market, right? Um, so obviously, if I look to the left hand side of my screen, the market has been trending. You know, lower lows, lower high, lower lows, lower high. I will pull back significantly. Uh, we were supposed to obviously come uh, and continue if indeed we're good. Now this is on a high time frame. Okay, let's move this to the monthly. Actually, let's get some some perspective to this guy. All right, cool. Monthly is going to work. Okay, cool. So YouTube is cool. So um, if indeed GBP USD wanted to continue, because this was a fantastic downtrend since 2014 or six years ago, right? Uh, all this pushed to the downside. I made a lot of money 2014, 2015, you know, pulled back. So the market has relatively been giving us easy moves, okay? Lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, low, high, lower, low, low, high. We we're expecting the market to at least come and produce, you know, a lower low somewhere around here, okay? Lower low somewhere around here. But that didn't happen, right? So what happened was GBP USD came and stopped here and gave us what they call a double bottom. It tried to attempt it again. It gave us a triple bottom. Now, usually when I see situations like this, when I see that markets are able to break, um, is unable to break, is unable to break a particular major level. So we're supposed to break here for a lower low, right? That didn't happen. We came in here double bottom. We attempted it again. We faked out all the people who had sell positions here you know, triggered them and then took them all the way back to the upside. So we had a triple bottom with no clear direction. So just by looking at this alone, GDP USD has, I already know that there's no clear direction. Not to say that we don't have any trades that we can take, but I always like to call it for what it is. A lot of people are like, they would intentionally move key levels around just so that they can have so that the, the chat can tell them what the chat is not telling them, okay? It's okay to say there's no clear direction. It's not the end of the world. A lot of people are very eager to trade. I get that, not a problem. But it's always good to have the overall view so that it will guide, so that if you're getting into a trade, you're not too overly optimistic or you it will help you know when to be optimistic and when not to be too optimistic, if I'm making any sense. Um, because usually I'm the kind of trader who likes to go for like 300, 500, 900, 2,000 pips. But if the market is not exactly trending or is not, it's giving us a triple bottom 
I can't really shoot for as much as 2,000 pips. I will now have to manage my, it's called managing my expectations. I'll now have to say, okay, um, for the fact that we're not trending massively, we don't have massive um, massive swings, we don't make it massive double button, massive lower lows and lower highs. Um, what is gonna happen is instead of anticipating the 2,000 pip move, maybe I'll be looking to catch maybe 200 pips, 150, 180 and stuff like that. So it's always important to, Guys, I always like to, I come on the higher time frame. It's not for fun. I come here to feel the market, like to feel the pulse, to feel the pulse of the market. It will guide you. So triple bottom, the market is saying, I'm not, like, I don't know where I want to go to, okay? Now, from what I can see, and this is a rule, if we, are, if we come and form a double bottom and we're able to break either side, to, add, to be either way, sorry, guys, my tongue is... It's catching, it's catching today. I don't know what's wrong with it. Okay, automatically this becomes a range. Okay, so as you can see, this automatically becomes what a range. So from what I can see, um, I just want to make sure that this range height is properly drawn. So this is another level I can draw that there. All right, fantastic. So from what I can see, on a weekly time frame, um, GBP USD is in a massive range. So when we're in a range like this, I, you cannot expect to bank those thousands of pips. Forex mastery students, I want you to guys, guys to really, really pay attention. Those of you guys who are on the course, I want you guys to really listen to what I'm saying, okay? So <clears throat> when you do your top-down analysis and then you realize that, look, the flow is not flowing, right? Try and, and, try and find out what exactly is happening. Are we... Why is it not flowing? Is it in the range? If it's in the range, that's fine. Cap, put the range, put it for what it is, okay? Because if flow of the river, we, we are very comfortable with flow of the river, we know, <clears throat> we know flow of the river gives us thousands of pips, but if the river is not flowing, we can't get those thousands of pips. We have to obviously manage our expectations, like I said earlier, and then Try and catch, try and get what we can get. Okay, try and catch what we can get. Fantastic. Um, I lost my line of thought there. All right, fantastic. Cool. So that's exactly what's happening with GBP USD. So um, <clears throat> that being said, I'm going to try and look inwards. Right. <clears throat> I can see. <clears throat> sorry, guys. One of my major levels is capping somewhere about here. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, change this to a major level somewhere about here. All I'm trying to do here, I'm just trying to identify what's happening. What, what are the big boys saying? That's all I'm just trying to see. What are the big boys saying? <coughs> <coughs> cool. So um, another one, I need to delete this. I need to clone this and bring this to the bottom. If you want to learn how to map out these levels, um, Forex mastery students, go back to the, the chapter where I speak about um, <coughs> <coughs> guys, give me two minutes. I'm joking. <coughs> um, great. Cool. So um want to learn how to map out your levels like this. Forex mastery students, you already know the chapter to check. Check that chapter and ensure that you get really good at what mapping up your key levels, okay? So as you can see, all I've done here, I'm not, it's not rocket science. I've mapped out the top of the range, the bottom of the range. I've looked out for a significant level, I've plotted it. And from what I can see, um, and like we said, there's no trend going on here. This were in a massive range. We're now, so in this situation, in a range, we're now going to need to bring in market structure to try and understand what exactly is happening. So on the weekly time frame, as well, triple bottom, clearly, um, we're trying to we try to bounce out of this double bottom, didn't happen, we formed the triple bottom, we try to bounce out again. This level is clearly a very strong level and what it keeps on, you know, like a child that is always trying to take something, slaps his hand down. So there's definitely issues at this level. So from what I can see, the weekly have told me everything you need to tell me, right? Um, we're in a massive range. It's been able to show me where the most significant levels are. Uh, I'm done with the weekly. Now I'm gonna go over to the daily to now try and increase my microscope a little bit to see, okay, we know we're in a range. Can we see maybe we can get some 
little trades here and there just to see what exactly what we can get out of the market, right? So if I come on the daily time frame, um, <clears throat> expand this a little bit more. Um, just looking at this right now, um, I remember um, I remember very well trading guys. For those of you guys who were on the webinar before, what did we trade? I think we traded this move to the downside and we cut this move all the way to the upside, right? So just by looking at this alone, um, there's a trend line that is going across like so. This is exactly why we traded it, okay? There was, there was a trend line that's going across like so. We broke the trend line, okay? We pulled back to test the outer part of the trend line. I also noticed that there was some form of a minor, there was some form of a minor um, resistance somewhere about here, if I adjust this properly. So what happened was we, listen guys, major resistance, this resistance level is here. The market came, poked it, okay? M bounced off the major resistance level. We came down, broken major trend line, okay? we come below it. We're now outside of the trend line. The market came and pulled back and tested the outer part of the trend line in confluence with resistance level. What we did was we scrolled down to a lower time frame, four hour, um, four hour time frame, and then what we did was we executed our sell trade somewhere around here, and then we took all this profit all the way to the downside, and then the market looked like we didn't want to move lower, and then it jumped all the way to the upside, and so on and so forth. So that's in the past. That's historical trading, like that's trading in the past. So um, what happened again was, so let me just delete this, right? I'm trying to explain it now, guys. Trust me, ranging markets are definitely more complicated than trending markets. However, I will do my very best to explain the situation to you guys, right? So we said, all right, fantastic. Thank you, Mr. Market, for giving us all these pips to the downside. We figured out that, okay, this market wasn't going to head lower anymore. You guys remember, we called the buy trade all the way back into here. You know, we made our profits all the way to the upside. Fantastic. Cool. Now, we've come here, okay? And we said to ourselves, all right, we're back here. Um, I was expecting that a break off here and the candle close above here would take us all the way to the upside. And the market obviously had other plans. So when the market has other plans, what do you do? You can only adapt to the current situation, right? So at this point, you know, I'm like, all right, cool. Let's see, maybe there's a trend line that I'm not seeing. Draw another one right about here. And as you can see, um, the market has obviously come in to test this trend line right about here. So, guys, what I feel is happening with um, what I feel is happening with GBPUSD at the moment is this: because the, there's no overall there's no overall direction, the market tends to be a bit confused in its movement. Like this week, these two weeks, it knows I want to go up. The next two weeks, oh, I want to go down. So the market tends to be very confusing. And it's for that reason that I said, don't expect those 2,000 pips that you're used to getting from the flow of the river because we have no flow of the river going on. And when there's no flow of the, and now you guys kind of like understand why I don't necessarily like to trade when there's no um, massive trend in play because it just becomes very, cumbersome and complex and all that, right? But hey, we still need to make some money in the markets, right? Regardless of whatever is happening, we still need to come into the market to try and understand what, what exactly the hell is going on. Just by looking at this, I can already see two things are most likely going to happen. The first one um, that I'm looking at is a possibility of the market breaking this trend line and coming to test this green region, right? So um, a potential sell trade to the downside is on the cards. Or if, listen, if we sustain, and I haven't drawn this trend line properly, this is actually how you should go about drawing your trend. Guys, Forex Mastery students, remember I told you guys, when you're drawing your trend line, always ensure that you, you, touch the most outer part of the candle, the weeks of the candle. This is not support and resistance. This is trend line. As you can see, I'm drawing it on the outer part of this candle. If 
I join this too close to the market, it will give me a false reading. What do I mean by a false reading? You see, I've joined it very close. Everything looks nice, right? It now looks as if this market is currently leaning on this trend line. What now happens is this. If this market breaks this trend line, a lot of traders start to, this. obviously they want to start selling. And then this will happen, right? The market now sells off into this region and then bounces out from here. And then people are like, ah, why? But it broke my trend line. Nah, it didn't break the trend line because you didn't draw the trend line accurately. Moral of the story, just draw your damn trend lines properly. It will save you from premature entries, okay? So from what I can see in front of me right about here, um, this is exactly how I decided to draw my trend line. I won't be moving it to, I know it looks sweeper. When you draw it like this, it looks like, oh, it's testing the trend line. If it breaks, you know, do that. Nah, guy, relax, relax, relax. Okay? So, um, so this is what I'm anticipating will most likely happen, right? Um, we can get a breakdown to the downside. So as long as we're trading above this trend line, okay, I'm anticipating the um, GDP USD to the upside, okay? The only way I'm going to look at GDP USD in a bearish manner is if we come and break this trend line right about here, okay? As long as we sustain above it, okay? I know it's not exactly a, a clear cut scenario. As long as they just the rules, okay? If we are above, let me actually join this properly so that we can touch this one, one, two, three. If we are above this trend line, it's just what it is. If we are above this trend line, I will only be looking for buy scenarios. The only way, and let me remove this green bar so that you guys can see that there's so much room either way, okay? We can collapse to the downside. Uh, we can collapse to the downside or we can easily bounce out of here to the upside. So these are the two scenarios for GDP USD. It is not exactly the very best trade setup, but it's not even a trade setup. It is a guide, okay? So if we turn around here and we start heading to the upside, feel free to scroll to lower time frames to look for buy opportunities to buy this market to the upside. But if we come and we break below this level right about here, okay? Guys, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to head all the way to the bottom. This is actually where this is supposed to be. We're going to head all the way to the bottom. So this is the exact scenario for GDP USD. Uh, for those of you guys who are a bit, because I on the Telegram group I was seeing a lot of people asking me what do I think about GDP USD. This is the reason why I have been unable to risk any like even if it's five dollars. I'm not going to risk five dollars on anything that I'm not sure of. Okay, that's just. The way I trade, right? So GBP USD right now is a bit confused. It doesn't know what it wants to do at the moment. So what am I going to do? I'm going to allow it to do its thing. And as a matter of fact, I'm even going to remove this trend line. I'm going to watch this very carefully. I'll tell you guys a little. I'll tell you guys a little. Let me see if you have any quick questions. Give me a guys. Somebody says the chart is not moving, still at the weekly time frame. I, I can see what you're drawing, but can hear you properly. Can you guys see and hear me properly? Can you guys see my screen and hear me properly? Yes, all right, cool. All right, cool guys. So let me, analysis aside, like analysis aside. Now I want to speak to you guys from experience. Just by looking at this GBP USD, like looking at it from the corner of my eye, hmm. this guy, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, he's looking at, he's eyeing this level very, he's eyeing this level very closely. <laughs> I would like to you. He's eyeing this level very closely. Very, very closely. He's eyeing this level very closely. I, this, this is, this is, ideally, this is a setup, right? Guys, trading takes a lot of discipline, right? Trading takes a lot, like ideally this is, I should have executed this. So what time frame, this daily time frame. So I ideally, I'll probably wait for 
maybe another candle to come down and I'll sell this market all the way down there. Ideally, um, but the way my trend lines are structured, this shit, it looks like a trap. It looks like a what? A trap. It looks like a trap. It looks like I'm going to sell this market here and then the market is going to come here. I yeah, don't you notice that sometimes you get into a trade, the market gives you like almost 80 pips in profit. And then before you know what's happening, you're seeing green candles. Yes. Why? Why does that happen? Because whenever it is, we as traders, whenever it is we do analysis, we just like, like that's when we do analysis, that we like that's the only thing we can see. We don't want to see anything else. Okay. And that's what separates the winners from the losers. When you do your analysis, always look around for any reason why it, it is a possibility of it not working out. On a normal day, like this is a clear cut GBP USD. Like this is, it has tried this level. This is, this is, this is, this market looks like it wants to just melt. I mean, normal day, it looks like it just wants to melt. But because of that trend line, it's looking like a trap. Okay, it's looking like a trap. Another way you can go about it now, I don't want to put you guys into trouble. So this is GBP USD, guys. We need to clear certain areas before I can have a complete and total bias, okay? To be honest, I, I really hope and pray and wish that um, this market just starts to head to the upside. It will make a lot more sense because I have less, I have less restrictions to the upside. You know, there's nothing capping it to the upside. If you break above, guys, if I see a candle, a bullish engulfing candle, come and close a bit like this, somewhere around here, bullish engulfing candle, I'll be looking to go long here. My stop losses will come here and my take profit will be all the way up here. This would be a this would be a simpler trade, right? But the market needs to obviously confirm to us what exactly it is it wants to do. And I know this looks like a very decent and nice place to get into the market to catch all the speeds. If we break down here, obviously we come down here. However, I have this trend line that is bothering me and I'm not going to come on here. And as you guys know, and this is why, <clears throat> this is why I'm, I'm right 90% of the time. I'm not right, I'm not correct 90% of the time because I'm some market wizard. Although a lot of people consider me that I'm right 90% of the time because I like to look out for reasons why I would be wrong. I like to look out for reasons why my trade will not go in my favor. And as much as this trade looks very juicy, I would have to sit on my hands and chill. At the moment, I'm currently short gold. For those of you guys who are on the Telegram group, you saw me, although I didn't post the chart, but I did give a little signal um, that I will be selling gold. Gold is going to drop and gold has done exactly as predicted. For, so for GBP USD, this is the dilemma I have in front of me until the market is able to give me a scenario whereby I feel comfortable, I have a direction to trade GBP USD. I just have some things that are just bothering me. Like, you know, I have relationship issues with GBP USD. So GBP USD is giving me mixed signals. You know, in a relationship, somebody giving you mixed signals, you leave the person alone until the person is ready to love you. If you're not ready to love me, I leave you alone. So GBP USD, this is where you are at the moment. Um, until you decide you want whatever it is you want to do, I'll be looking at you from the corner of my eye. So enough with GBP USD. Let's head over to gold. Now, the reason I'm, I don't really want to show you guys gold that much is because gold has already activated my trade. Um, <clears throat> um, so what happened in, in regards to gold was obviously uh, I could see this whole mess go on in gold. And guys, 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 before I even get into gold, the gold setup, let's go on a monthly. Let, no, no. Let me, let me, let me discuss my trade on gold before I give you guys an overall perspective on what's happening on gold. So I could see this whole gold sideways movement. Everybody asking me, gold, what do I think? What do I think? I said, yeah, I don't really think much because the market is just everywhere. We peak down. When we peak down, and Forex Mastery students, I want to teach you guys a little trick here, right? I want you guys to look at the kind of setup that I love, the kind of setups that I just love, okay? I like to see setups that the market, obviously, has formed a very clear base at the top. We've broken down, and we've pulled back, 
okay? As you can see, I don't usually like to get in on the foot, like collapse, pull back. I don't usually like to get in on the first, first rejection. I don't like the first rejection. No, no. The first rejection are for the baby traders. You know, hey, the market wants to leave me. Go and enter it, go and do it. You know, I just watch it. So I was watching it. I wasn't well, so I just checked my charts once a day, right? And then the market bounces off here and it comes back down. And then before I know what is happening, guys, guys, look at this. Before I know what's happening, the market goes and fakes out all the people that sold here. And what happens? The market comes back down. This is where the market picked my interest. At this moment, I knew that the market was going to come down. Why? Market manipulation. You guys, on the Forex Mastery program, I've uploaded the module on, on market manipulation, right? I think I have. I've uploaded the module. If you are not on the Forex Mastery, go and get it. I'm not going to start explaining market manipulation. This is what happened. The market came here, it came down. I'm like, well, if you're going to come down here, maybe I've lost you. Whatever, I don't know. I might not get into the trade. That's fine. That's cool. But me, I know the market. Like the market doesn't just come down in one a couple of candles, go up and then come back down a couple of no no no. The market would he still wants to be he likes to play around. So when I saw the number of candles and then the market came down here, I said, Well, I don't really like the way you have played around this level. In fact, gold, I know you are a wild guy. Relax. You, are, you, are, you like to play games. So, and I'm like, guy, I'm not, even, I'm not even feeling well enough to even battle with this gold right now. Gold was requiring me, the, my counter trend line was requiring me to come on the four hour, one hour time frame. No, I'm like, no, no, no. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to watch it. Lo and behold, people who sold on this candle, the market went and ran their stops. Okay, and came back down here. This is where I became interested in gold. If you guys remember, go and check on the, go and check um, on, okay, no, I didn't publish the analysis. It was with another, it was with my investors. I spoke about it. So it was at this point I became interested in gold. So at this point, I'm still watching gold and stuff like that. So what gold has done or what gold did was gold gave me a way to draw a counter trend line like so. I now looked at the top about here. I could see some form of a crooked trend line, okay? I mean, if you draw the first trend line. Um, guys, this, these are all the hurdles you have to cross when the market is not trending. This is why I like flow of the river. If this was flow of the river, like, I would have just, okay, Monthly time frame is this, weekly is this, daily is this. If this happens, bam. But there's no flow of the river. We have to make do with what we can see, right? And at the end of the day, we still need to put food on our table. So we have to get in here. Get in here and look at this shit, right? Fucking shit. Okay, so um, trend line. Um, obviously, this wasn't going to work out. So what I did was I drew an inner trend line at the top about here. And I put, I connected the outermost points like so. And at the time, gold was trading somewhere around here. So we peeked in here, okay? And then we came back. Do you understand? Me? Only guys understand. Me. This is the first touch, second touch. The third touch of the trend line always does the trick. So I noticed we came and we pinged in here and we had the red candle right about here. This was around where in the Telegram group, somebody wanted to sell silver. I said, well, I wouldn't really be interested in selling silver. Silver and gold kind of like form the same. They move in the correlation, right? Obviously, they are precious metals. So it was about here that I said, okay, um, two reasons why I'm going to get into this trade. First of all, I've seen a market manipulation on two different in two different situations. One thing about market manipulation is the first spike, okay? If you see a second spike, the second spike is usually, the first spike is usually longer than the second spike. That's if we do get a second spike. So what do I mean by first and second spike? This is the first spike of the market. Guys, let me explain this to you. You wanted to sell here, okay? Everybody, everybody, the whole while, I remember going on Instagram, everybody wanted to sell here, Boom. 
the market comes, the, the investment bankers come and they run the stops. This is the first spike. Usually, after the first spike, you're free to start selling, okay? Sell here because if indeed we might have a second spike, which was this second spike here, the second spike is usually not as long as the first spike. So once you, after the first spike, you're free, you're safe to get into the trade because usually the second spike is usually not as long as the first spike. So I was just watching it. The market was, and I, I was seeing that the market wasn't, you know, committing. I, I just drew my counter trend line, JJ, like what, like so. I was watching it, watching it closely. Mind you, I haven't traded any bit, right? And then we come and we spike again for the second time. I said, okay, this guy is ready. We spike in to test the trend line for the third time. What do I do? I just wait for the market to come around here, come on the four hour time frame, click sell, stop losses come here, and then my take profits are obviously at this blue zone. Um, we are yet to get to, um, let me just adjust this properly. Well, this is my, this is my overall target about here. This trade is looking like a two to one. So I'm risking about 3% to make 6%. Um, so yeah, so this gold trade is somewhere in the middle here. Um, I'm expecting it to come down here without a doubt. I know gold, one, one thing I like about gold is once it commits to a particular direction, it goes with force, like velocity, right? So this is exactly why I got into this trade. This trade is not the easiest. Oh guys, we have 66 people in the room. Shout out to every single, shout out to every single person that came on the call today. Anytime I see a lot of people in the room, I get so fucking excited. Why? Because it means people are listening to what I'm saying. People are learning. I love to impact people with information and knowledge. Shout out to 66, no, 65 actually, because I'm the 66 person, right? Six, no, 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 64 actually, because we have Sarah, who obviously, um, who obviously works for, for, for the company. And so we have 64 people in the room here. Um, shout out to every single one of you. Nnamani Austin, very clear, shout out to you. Mr. Ifyok Afan, you love to ask me questions. I love questions, don't worry. Um, Please, if the market is above the trend line, can I place a sell trade? Oh Lord, if, please, if the market is above the trend line, can I place a sell trade when the market starts to make lower lows and lower highs? I don't understand your question, Mr. Ifrit, I'm sorry. Please, if the market is above the trend line, if the market is above the trend line, can I please a sell trade when the market starts to make lower lows and lower highs? I am lost. If you have, do me a favor, right? If you can just record your screen for like 30, 60 seconds or screenshot or chart, send it to me on Telegram. I'll be more than glad to answer your question, okay? Mr. Samuel Karimo, shout out to you, sir. Shout out to you. Thank you for that message. Um, so this is gold. Should you be selling gold? Guys, this is the, if I tell you to go and sell gold now, all right? I won't be doing you any good because my entries are all the way up here. This is where my entries are. Your entries will be here. I will come out of this trade profitable. You might come out, the trade, this pair can still come down here. Because of how high I got into the trade, I will come out of this trade profitable. You might enter this trade and come up with a loss because you entered too late. So if I say next week, go and start selling gold, I won't be, being, I, I won't be honest with you guys, right? Um, maybe if we can scroll down to a lot, let's see, let's, okay, let's see. Let's go in one hour to see. I hate one hour time frame, guys. You guys know me. Okay, so ah, you guys brought me down to my 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 worst enemy. Okay, one hour time frame. Let's see what we can do. Uh, next, moving into next week. Let me see. Let me look at for you guys. Let me help you guys out. Okay, it's very simple and straightforward. I can see um, some form of it. All right, so this is what gold is looking like on a one hour time frame. All right, cool. So now, 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 these are your rules of engagement. As long as we stay below this green bar, okay? As long as we sustain below this green bar, okay? Gold is going to come here. How do you get into this gold trade? Um, you can draw a counter trend line like so. As long as we 
sustain below this green bar. Actually, let, let me reduce this a bit here because this looks like the supply level. Let me look left to make sure that I have my levels up. You see, this is why I don't like coming on one hour. Look at all these fucking candles. They look like heartbeats. You know, they look like they messed up, right? But don't worry. Some people want to, some people say they must join me on this gold trade. So you have to help them out, right? Let me see if maybe some. All right, cool. So there you go, guys. This is my one hour. This is the best I can do for you guys. As long as we what sustain below this green bar back here, gold will eventually come down here. Okay. So execute your trades around here. Stop losses must go above previous highs and then take profits must come somewhere below here. Well, guys, don't, bring, don't forget, this is a one hour time frame. Okay? This is a one hour time frame. Be careful. Your counter trend line must be drawn properly. Draw it properly to ensure come down here. Ooh. Down here. Okay, so we have some good pips to, to catch now. Um, I know that gold is going to play around here for a little bit. Come and break somewhere down here. So between here to here, one eight seven eight to one eight four nine. So if I just subtract that, so you're looking about let's say this is fifty and that is eighty. Fifty minus eighty is what thirty. So you're looking at about a decent maybe. I'm guessing. 200 people move to the downside if we collapse from here. So guys, for those of you guys who want to join me on gold, um, it's a bit too late, but this if if I was to get into gold right now, this is exactly how I'll get into gold, right? So that is my gold analysis. Let's quickly switch over to which other pair is looking interesting. Um, AUDUSD is not moving from where it is. It has gone and has just gotten stuck here. Okay, we go on the monthly time frame. AUD USD is uh, and this one guy, Kami. Where's Mr. Kami the Great? Kami the Great has been asking me direction of the market, direction of the market. So AUD USD at the moment, um, I would love for AUD USD to continue with its flow of the river. You guys know AUD USD has been flowing pretty nicely to the downside. Uh, however, we've picked above here. Okay, and we're cut. See, guys. This is the way I like to trade, okay? I like the market moves from zone to zone. This is one zone, this is another zone. As long as we are inside of this zone and we stay above this zone, we're coming here. The only way this market can come down here is we need to break this zone and be within these two zones. If we come between these two zones, we will come down. So, but for now, this guy doesn't know what he wants to do, okay? It's supposed to be coming here, but he's, he's touching here. Why are you touching here? Let's just leave it. It's coiling up, it's trying to make up his mind. So AUD USD has come here and he's trying to make up his mind. If we break down below here and start coming down here, mm, easy, it's bearish, flow of the river, come on daily for our draw counter trend line, sell, bam. But for now, we don't have any clear direction on AUD USD, right? So in fact, we're trading gold, right? We're trading GBP USD. As for AUD USD, just leave it alone, okay? My own, you know, you might have another strategy that is telling you to do otherwise. A lot of people keep asking me, sir, uh, what about order block? What about supply and demand? What about this? Guys, there's no need to complicate trading. Trading is very basic and straightforward, right? Just look at market structure. Flow of the river, if, flow, if the market is not flowing, if the river is not flowing, means somewhere is blocked. There's a flood, it's stagnant. If it's stagnant, you now need to you know, scroll down to a lower time frame to now trade chart pattern, okay? To say, okay, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening, right? So that's exactly how you go about it. Order, when they talk about order flow, you're not a broker. Only brokers can see order flow. There's no indicator. There's no indicator. There's no special tool that will show you order flow. All these levels that, I'm draw that I've drawn here, there's no special indicator that will draw it for you you need to learn how to draw them yourself. And they are very easy and straightforward to draw. Learn how to do them yourself. There's no other, let me tell you how other flow works. Let's say, um, for instance, let's give an example, Infinox Capital. Um, Sarah, please, could you bring the link out for um, Infinox Capital? 
because we have a lot of people on here who haven't opened their trading accounts um, with Infinox Capital. Now, guys, um, if you are currently on this webinar, I encourage you guys to go ahead and create your account with Infinox Capital right about now. Why? Because every single member, or rather not everybody, but we're moving all the students to Infinox Capital. Why? Because Infinox Capital, we can vouch for your fund safety. We can vouch for your withdrawals. And if you live in anywhere in Nigeria, South Africa, wherever, you can deposit in your local currency, right? So for those of you guys who've been asking me which is my preferred broker of choice, Infinox Capital is the absolute best. And people have been depositing and withdrawing at absolute will, like it's been, they've been having a blast. So I don't want to start getting into all the um, all the issues that I had with brokers in the past, whereby brokers kept on running away with my money. I know JP Markets in South Africa and Namibia just shut down <coughs> because they are useless. Okay, so um, obviously I had to do my own due diligence. I had to do my own research as to the best broker. And then obviously I found Infinox Capital and we've been using them thus far and they've been able to guarantee our fund safety up to $2 million. So Sarah, please go ahead and click the link for people who want to, uh, who are desperately, because I know a lot of people, guys, I have like 26 people at the moment who cannot withdraw money. I remember when I did my last webinar, I had 17, uh, no, 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 not 17, seven people. Seven people were having issues with hot forex. Between three weeks ago and now, I have 27 people who cannot withdraw money from their hot forex, hot forex which are broken, right? So guys, do yourself, there's no point making all this money and then the broker refuses to pay you out. Most of these brokers, what they're doing is this. They don't expect you to be, to, to be profitable. So they don't place your trades on the live market. So when you now become profitable, that means they have to pay you your profit from their own pocket. And then they start giving you stories. Oh, you took a bonus. Oh, you did this. Oh, that. Oh, this. Oh, the card you use is different from the card now. Oh, the account number. Oh, send us verification. Oh, send us your ID. Oh, your nose is bigger in this ID than me. They start saying rubbish, okay? So this is why I had to go and ensure that we had to get a broker that I trust, that I, I've been to their office and they guaranteed, their bank guaranteed fund safety. So even if the world is ending tomorrow, they must pay out up to $2 million. So Infinox Capital is the way to go. Um, when you go ahead and create your account, MT4, your account type should be MT4 STP. MT4 STP, not ECM, MT4 STP, okay? This way you get less, you don't get charge spread and commission, you just get charge spread, right? So that's pretty much it. Now, this is AUD USD, guys. Um, as you can see, not interested in looking at that at the moment. It's doing what it's doing. Um, I don't really have time to go into that many other pairs. Um, so let me see EURUSD. EURUSD, such a bad person. Bad person. Bad, this guy is a ah, wicked person. Why are you so wicked? I remember seeing this pair. I remember seeing this pair very well, right? And there was a point in Euro USD's lifetime where the thing about Euro USD, like I remember saying that I don't think this pair is ready to go up, okay? And then lo and behold, it started coming down. So we thought, okay, it's not ready to go up. It wants to start coming down. And then it starts coming down. And then it starts going back up again. I was like, okay, maybe it's ready. And then it gets here, forms a double top, and then absolutely fucking collapses on his head, okay? So I just, like you see, this market wants to head higher, right? But it's not just, it's not going to give up without a fight, okay? Your USD, what I'm going to do is, I'm just gonna leave it open like so. I'm going to do a proper analysis on Euro USD. I'm going to allow the market mature a little bit. And then I'm going to come up, I'm gonna go on the Telegram group, all the Forex Mastery students, I'll be posting my Euro USD analysis. I will do a more in-depth analysis send me all the pairs you want me to go over. I'll try as much as possible to analyze them. And then obviously I'll send them over to you guys. Guys, at the moment, the market is, as you're trading, as you're trading, just be trading, you know when you, you're walking on, you know when glass breaks 
and then you want to go and sweep the glass. And then when, as you're approaching the glass, you start tiptoeing, you know, small, small, like, like that's how I want you guys to be moving in this market environment right now, because the market is looking very treacherous. I'm not saying this to pan make you panic, I'm saying this to prepare your mind. Go in there, what the market gives you, take it and get the fuck out, right? This is not the time to say, flow of the river is saying, there's no flow, as you can see, there's no flow going on at the moment, right? Trust me, when the flows come back, I'll be the first person to tell you, see it very evidently. But right now, the market is not cooperating with standard market principles. So if you, I'm not saying this so that you will just stay and not trade, feel free to trade. What I'm just trying to say, all I'm trying to say is what the market gives you, take it. If it gives you $30, take it. If it gives you $3,000, Take it. If it gives you, if you're expecting 250 pips, and then when the market gets to 120 pips, the market starts to reverse. Take it. Okay? You know, I'll tell you guys the truth any day, anytime. So, guys, this is where we go into the Q&A session. Um, Q&A session, guys, as you can see, I'm sweating. Hey, that's what we miss. I noticed in the course that monthly time frames are mostly used for taking position, and this makes me wonder why you trade conveniently as a day trader. No, that means you did not study the forex mastery course properly. We don't place trades on the monthly time frames. We execute trades on the daily and on the four hour. Okay. Go and watch it again. The course to teach you how to. Um, the course will teach you how to analyze from a monthly. Listen to what I'm saying there, please. Just watch it again, okay? Watch it again. Um, watch it again. Let's go down to the bottom of the Forex Mastery. There are recorded sessions where I that I spoke to a student, right? You see me break it down from monthly, weekly, daily, okay? I start from the monthly, weekly, daily. I execute on the four hour, okay? Never execute on the mark trading is broken down into two aspects market analysis and trade execution. I will never ever execute on the monthly time frame. Okay. All right. So um, why is it so easy for me to day trade? Guys, the truth is if I wanted to day trade, day trading is like I can analyze, like I mean, I went on gold, I did the one hour analysis. I can do the analysis on lower time frames. But the reason why I don't do that is for two reasons. First of all, health reasons. Fucking now, lower time frame messes. Like I'm borderline hypertensive. Guys, I'm, I'm a young man. How can I be borderline hypertensive? I'm borderline hypertensive because of this bloody market. I was day trading, trading on very low time frames. <coughs> and when you start to see your money going up and down, up and down, up and down, it starts to play up with your health. So I have to. Um, now, that's one reason, health reasons. The second reason is I've realized that trading with a top-down analytic, analytical perspective and holding my trades for a longer period of time gives me better result than always day trading. But if day trading suits you, feel free to do it. But always ensure that you identify the flow of the market. Even if the flow is sideways, identify it, okay? And only a top-down approach will help you identify this. You see, we identify GDP USD is in a range. We know whatever GDP USD gives us, we take. For instance, gold. If gold starts to act mad on Monday now, I'm out of gold though, because gold has no, let me show you what's happening with gold. <coughs> gold is moving really, guys, are you guys with me? I hope I'm not boring you guys. Are you got Euro US is a snitch, fucking snitch. <laughs> Euro US is moving mad. Um, what if I combine my price auction with indicators? You're on your own. I don't, guys. What like what are you doing with indicators? Like leave the indicators alone. What do you want? What What do you want indicators to tell you that the chart is not ready? Like I don't know why you guys you feel like those indicators on your. What are they going to? You're so used to them. Get them out of there. Okay, you want to use indicator, which indicator, tell me which indicator do you want to use? If I ask everybody here, 
They should tell me their favorite indicator. I will, there will be like 700. There are 64 people here. I'll have 64 different indicators. So which one are we now going to use? Are we going to put all the whole 64? Get that shit out of the way, man. Okay? Learn how to do this properly. Price action. You see, I'm going in there. I'm, I'm, I'm dissecting it, dividing it. If this happens, I'm going to do this. If this happens, I'm going to do that. You're waiting for your indicator. You're waiting for your indicator. There's nothing like Willis indicator, by the way. There's Willis zone. That is when your trend line, Fibonacci and your support and resistance line up. It's not an indicator, it's a zone, okay? And it's a zone that is, is a confluence. The reason why it is very strong is because if three tools come together, okay, at a particular level, that means that level is a strong level, okay? What am I going to do with indicator? Indicator, I'm going to wait for indicator to cross over to tell me to buy or sell. Imagine if Kito tell me to, to, to cross over to buy gold now. Eh? Imagine if Kito told me to cross over to buy gold last week. Where will I be now? I'll be crying. I'll be crying. Okay, I'll be crying. Or if Kito told me to sell gold, then market manipulation happened. What would I be doing? I'll be crying. Shedding tears, hot tears. So we don't want that, okay? We do not want that shit in our lives, okay? Um, so. Somebody said something about S&P pips. Um, Michael, all, what, what's going to happen is I'm going to get Infinox Capital to do a webinar. Guys, for those of you guys who have not signed up for, with Infinox as your broker, the next webinar I'm going to have is only going to be, I'm going to tell you guys straight away, the next webinar I'm going to have is only for the students who are on the Forex Mastery program and who have Infinox Capital Trading accounts. Because I found out that this is, people don't like to listen. I did a webinar two weeks ago and I told people this is our preferred broker of choice. We still have people who stayed with their old broker and now they can't get money out of their old, broker, old brokers and they're not bugging me. They're messaging me on Telegram. Okay, they are messaging me on Telegram. Oh my bro, like, but I told you, you like, I told you, this is what you should do. Like, this is what you need to do. If not, like, you guys, fund safety is very important. So, I'm gonna have to take some very drastic measures to ensure that people comply. This is for your own benefit. Okay, for your own benefit. The next, Sarah. Please, the next webinar we're having is strictly only for Forex Mastery students and people who have Infinox trading accounts, okay? I think this is the best way to get people to comply. Guys, this is, I consider this my community. And if this is my community, I have to lead my community right. Infinox Capital is the broker of choice of this community, so please, People are asking me, what about, um, what's the name of this broker? NX, NX, I don't know. It might be good, it might be bad, I don't know, okay? But I, all I know is I'm getting a ridiculous, guys, I'd rather use my emails and my telegrams to respond to trading related questions than to have people sending me screenshots of their broker refusing to give them their money. I'm tired, I beg you guys, I'm begging you guys, please. So, so that we can reduce the amount of complaints from issues from people's brokers and we can have more traded related, trading related questions. The next webinar I'm gonna have will strictly be for students who are on Forex Mastery. In fact, for the next three webinars, as a matter of fact, right? So if you're, if you're not on the Forex Mastery course, I suggest you grab it now. It's just $99. People who have grabbed the course, they're doing very well and they have not died. They brought out $99 and they're still very much alive and kicking, right? That's number one. Number two, Infinox trading account is free. All you need to do is create it and fucking start trading there. It does, it's not going to kill you. Please, I'm tired of, like, guys, please, please, okay? Nigeria is tough as it is. Um, uh, Nigeria is tough as it is. That, do you enter on the brink of this? Joanita, are you on the Digital World Program? Just tell me yes. Are you on digital world course? I think I'm speaking to you. 
to my emails and we have a meeting today. Is that you? Oh, no, 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 all right, cool. Best course ever. Thank you, Greg. Exactly, so do yourself a favor and all the things that I'm talking about here, how to analyze the market properly, I speak about it more on the course. Do you enter on the break of the zone or wait for the retest? Um, how do I enter the market? I like four hour strong candle. It's okay for me. Four hour strong candle break is fine for me. Okay. Yes, so please try and be doing weekly Forex webinar. Oh, that's what I'm going That's why the next webinar is strictly only for Forex Mastery students and people who have Infinox trading accounts, okay? So if you're a Forex Mastery student, just get the freaking, go on the Telegram group. The link is at the top there. So guys, let me go ahead and answer some questions, right? Let me go ahead and answer some questions. Do you have any questions? Any questions? Someone's asking how much is the course? It's just $99. Get in the Telegram group, DM Sarah, she obviously sort you out. Um, do you enter, the, okay, well, let me see, we've got some more questions on this side of the chat. Nice session, I'm a newbie though. How do I subscribe to the Forex Mastery program? Sarah, please post the link for the Telegram group so that people can come on there and message you. Um, how do I become, yes, so she's gonna sort it out right about now. Sarah, please post the link to the Telegram group now. If you're not already on the Telegram group, join the Telegram group. Once you get there, just ask the question, how do I join the Forex Mastery Program? Sarah will send you a DM and help you out straight away. So um, any more questions? Okay, let's do some questions before I have to go. Do you, is FXTM broker cool? Dude, why are you asking me questions like that? I just told you, I don't, Fucking no, I don't know. Leave me and all these brokers. If you ask me about FT, FXTM, someone ask me about what Forex, someone ask me, I don't even know. I just know that brokers, well, have you, okay, let me tell you, you broke hot Forex is having issues. JP Market just shut down, no redrawals. RNFX is not processing withdrawals. Um, FX or FX open, no go area. I don't, those, these brokers I know because I've been getting emails from students, okay? I don't like. So FXTM might be good, I don't know, okay? I have not investigated them. The one I have investigated that I'm using, I'm giving to you guys. Please, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you for complying. Thank you for complying, thank you, thank you. For you increasing my blood pressure, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's do some questions. Before I have to go, guys, I have a match to watch. I know you guys wanna get back to your match. Some of you guys have to go back for your wedding reception. And tech dealt with me. <laughs> I told you, ah, Chelsea's winning. Why? Why is Chelsea winning? Somebody say, I'm getting bigger. How am I getting bigger? Please don't make me sad. I've been going to the gym to, to lose it. I beg, don't make me cry. I beg, don't make me cry. Don't make me cry. Don't make me cry. Is it my arms? If you mean my arms are getting bigger, like, is it my shoulders? If you mean like my muscles are getting bigger, <laughs> but if you say like, if I'm getting fat, I beg you in the name of God. What account should we select? MT4 STP. <coughs> My arms. <laughs> Correct that. <clears throat> Michael, two bows are for you. Two bows are for you. Boss, I don't have access to the Forex Telegram group. It's possible that Sarah blocked you. I don't know. Maybe you are talking too much. If you don't have access to the Telegram group, blame Sarah. Sarah, I don't have. She has the admin rights to the Telegram group. She probably blocked you because you're asking too many questions. I'll beg her on your behalf. I'll beg her, tell her she's here, she can see it, all the questions. She probably blocked you because you are not asking trading related. Maybe you are asking too many questions that are irrelevant. It's possible, it's possible. I came late, can we access the recording? Of course you can access the recording. Sarah, please, can we go back to YouTube? Let's see some questions from YouTube. Let's see some questions for YouTube. Let's, let, me, let me head over to my YouTube channel. See, shout out to everybody watching this from YouTube. As you can see, this market breakdown hasn't been the easiest one, but we move. We move. Please share the link to the Telegram group. Um, people are asking here, let me see. Guys, I'm watching you guys on YouTube. Shout out to you guys. Um, Wave Crest of FX Academy. Thank you, Mentor. Shout out to you. 
I've got a question um, on using counter trend at entry. Do you always have to wait for candle close? Because sometimes it just blows up and goes off. Um, yes, candle close, four hour candle close. Four hour candle close will save you from a lot of premature entries. Okay. Please share the link to the Telegram group. Um, how do I even share public as Dapo Willis? Okay, let me do this. One sec, guys, one sec. Let me just attend the people on the. Um, Add members, invite group to link, copy link. Let's come here. Okie dokie. This is the. Okay, so the YouTube guys, the Telegram link has been dropped there. Feel free to click it. Um, so let's go. More questions, more questions, more questions, more questions. Where are you guys? You guys are you guys sleeping? More questions, more questions. Let me delete this. I guess you guys don't have that many questions because you guys are doing pretty well. Um, <clears throat> Please, how much can I use to open the account and leverage to use? Use whatever amount you can afford to open it. Whatever, put your trading capital there. Most of you guys already trade with brokers. Why are you asking me? Don't move. I can hear you talking about fundamentals when you first started the webinar. Um, I'm, I'm a bit lost with that question. How do you understand fundamentals properly? Fundamentals is a different ballgame. More questions, guys. More questions, guys. More questions, guys. Let me see. Okay, we've got more questions coming up on this side. I don't really understand the Fibonacci law. Fibonacci law is very straightforward. Let me tell you, let me explain to you why I use the Fibonacci, the way I use the Fibonacci. So you have to understand that. <clears throat> let me take you over to my charts. Let me take it over to my charts, right about here. So, good. Let's say this is a market movement, right? <clears throat> so the idea is this. The buyer started from here, and now the market is currently here. They started to take their profits, and the market starts to retrace. Now, the people who actually move the market, let's say they want to get into this uptrend. So they've seen a massive impulse move to the upside. It's juicy, market looking like we were going to go high, right? It's going to, the market wants to go high, okay? So let's say this is zero dollars, this is fifty dollars, this is hundred dollars. They want to, obviously, they see the market has left from zero dollars to fifty dollars, and then it has started pulling back. They know the market is going to get to $100, but the market is just currently pulling back due to what profit taking. They want to buy this market. <clears throat> now, they're not going to buy at the top here. It's too expensive. This $0, this $50, why are they going to buy all the way at the top here? What they're going to do is they're going to allow profit taking to occur for at least 50% of this move so that they can get a decent price to get in. Half of 50 is what, 25? Let me say, guys, the natural retracement from here to here. So here is too expensive for them. Here is too expensive. They want to, they want, so Fibonacci calculates the length of the move. This 0.5 represents 50% of this move. This 0.618 represents 61% of this move. So they want to, they want to, they want to take advantage of the move to $100. Quite all right. <clears throat> it has started from zero. It got to 50. It started to retrace. They want this market to go from 50 back to at least 25, 24, 23, so that they can buy here for a good price, OK? So that they can now take advantage of the market moving all the way to the upside. <clears throat> this is what gives back to waves. This is what gives back to waves. I guarantee you check every wave that happens in this market your the 50 film is in play don't play with 50 fibonacci that's king forex mastery student go and watch fibonacci chapter again you see what i mean don't play with if i draw from swing high to swing low you can see if the reason why euro usd well in now we can see the then we didn't know i'm not trying to say we knew 
But I'm just trying to tell you, the reason why the euro could not carry on further was because of this. You can see how it came into it perfectly. And it came all the way to the downside, okay? So 50 Fibonacci, don't play with it. This is the reason Fibonacci, <clears throat> Fibonacci is very, very key. This, what gives birth to the up and down movement in the market, the waves is actually Fibonacci, okay? Um, the investment banks, the big boys, not wanting to get in at a very horrible price. They want to get in at a better price. So they wait for the market to pull back to at least 50% of its move. And then they start buying. And then you start to see the market head all the way to the upside. Yeah. Guys, I submit this market. Forget. Oh, yeah. What's next? Who is next? Let's go. 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 Guys, I'm not happy Chelsea is winning, honestly. That will upload a video on Fibonacci setting. My appearance on my screen is annoying. Michael, I'm so sorry about this. I recorded this video before. I didn't like it. I recorded another one <clears throat> three days ago when I felt, okay, I have it now. I have it now. Monday, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm updating the Forex Mastery platform. Okay? I'm updating it. I know I've been saying I'm Monday. I will edit it, just expect like Monday evening. So I will edit it. There's some videos I've recorded that I want to update. The number one video that I want to update is about, um, number one video I want to update is about Fibonacci, how to edit your Fibonacci to look better. I speak about how to obviously design your trading view to look like my own. What is your thoughts on US 30 and German 30? I don't trade this market, but let's see. It might be quite interesting. What is German 30? Is it the DAX? Let's see, GR30. Oh, no, they will. It's not here. What is German 30? Is it the DAX? Um, share screen. <sighs> Guys, it's not popping up on my thing here. Um, let's see, I think DAX comes up. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, DAX index. Let's see, German 30, GR30. Not coming up, I'm sorry. DAX. I think DAX is the German index. You see charts. Um, go back to monthly time frame. <sighs> Okie dokie, that's why looking at this bad boy, I can see. Yeah, not calling in much substance about here. Take this off, put this on here. You can see the top of this. You can see the bottom of this. Okay, I think that's significant enough for me to analyze this. So for the DAX, <coughs> for the DAX, look at what's happening on DAX. So in January 2018, resistance, we have a double top. This double top let, gave birth to um, this movement to the downside. This is COVID. I know this very well. These are COVID candles. These are definitely COVID candles. January, in this March, these are definitely COVID candles. We came into this region and then we rebounded back to the upside. So in terms of that, what has actually happened, what I can see, if I adjust this properly here, is I can see a triple top formation on a monthly time frame. Um, a triple top formation on a monthly time frame, meaning, and what's more, what month is this? I'm going to the new month. 31st of October. So this is the last candle of October. What I can see here is an evening star formation, bullish, bearish, bearish engulfing. That's from what I can see right about here. We are most likely going to, for the next at least couple of months, 
for the next months to come, I know the next candle here is going to be red. That is most likely going to drop from one one five five six. Man, ah, see price of the instrument. It's going to drop from. Long story short, that will probably pull back a little bit here to close here. But this boy is coming through. So if I were you, the monthly time frame is telling me bull. Is telling me bearish. Between here to here is probably like maybe 2,000 pips, 1,500 pips, just by looking at it because it's a monthly time frame. Now, what I want you to do is go and position your mind on a daily time frame to start looking for what selling opportunities. And you might want to sell and then hold till you get here. This is a triple top formation. This is major resistance. At the triple top formation, on the third touch of the triple top formation, I have an evening star and a bearish engulfing candle almost setting, 90% setting that the next couple of months on the DAX are going to be bearish. Coupled with that, Europe is about to go into shutdown because of COVID-19, spiking COVID-19 issues due to, due to winter. So the stock market is going to hit. From that now, I've done technical and I've fundamentals. <clears throat> Just trying to back up my analysis. Third touch, coming down, it's coming down. If you want me to explain it again, I'll, I'll, I'll do that again, right? First touch, <coughs> double top came down. <coughs> we tried to break it, no way. Third touch, we touched it. If we touch it and move sideways a little bit, maybe we might be confused for. But we touched it, and this is fundamentals of trading, evening star formation. Is it morning star? Evening star. Anyways, this is a reversal candlestick. You have a reversal candlestick pattern on a major resistance level, easy and straightforward. This guy wants to. He wants to throw up, he wants to vomit. The next couple of candles are going to be red. Why am I anticipating it's going to come into here? It's not rocket science. If I look left, this is in, well, it's not really a major level, but it's a level. It looks like a significant level. It's not a level. I won't put my blue bar here. My blue bars will come where these green ones are. But this is a minor level, but it's a level. And this is a, this is a monthly time frame. It's a major turnaround. I will not joke with it. I'll put it here. So I know for a fact that this market is going to come here. All I will need to do is I'll scroll down to a lower time frame and I'll be looking for what selling opportunities. Pullbacks, sell, pullback, sell. If we come here, we break here, we're going to come to this green bar. Let me see if we have trend line. Um, now let's look for any reason why our analysis will not work out. You know, I always like to do that. Very important. Great. So we have trend line. Luckily for us, our trend line lines up. Um, no, the trend line is drawn absolutely wrong. We need to adjust it, touch the bottom, fantastic. So we have, we have, there's no reason why, there's no reason if the trend line, maybe I drew it and it was touching here, I'd be like, okay, maybe this trend line is far away, is touching the yellow, um, this thing about here. This guy, guys, DAX index. I'm calling it right here live on ESPN DAPC Network Central. Calling it live here, DAX is going to drop 1,000 pips into where? 10,000 points. I'm going on Bloomberg. If I go on Bloomberg on Monday and tell them it's going to drop to 10,000 and then it drops to 10,000, they'll be like, oh my God, how did you know? Hey, this guy is like a genius. They're like, guys, I'm not a genius. Just it's so easy. Monthly, look at it. It's ranging. Put it there. Triple top. It's going to come down. It's going to come down before it goes up. No. Easy, man. This shit is easy, man. Shit is easy, man. Shit. So that's what's going to happen with that. That's in Network Central. There you go. Easy and cool. I'm just wondering if NAS 100 is the same as NAS 100 UK. I just want to know. What of US 30? What about the resistance on the far left? Let's see. Thank you for calling that out. Resistance on the far left. Um, it looks like he has cleared it. <clears throat> so it looks he has, like he has cleared that resistance. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to put this here. So this is what is actually going to happen. Okay. This market is going to, listen, guys, this market. Right, as long as so I like to say, you no, know, I like to trade between zone to zone. Hey, I want zone to zone, zone to zone. Very simple. We're going to pull back into here. As long as we sustain below this yellow bar, we're going to come here. Okay, <clears throat> watch out. This is the last um, first of November. Is first of November, what's today? 
Oh, show me what I want to see, please. So, um, <clears throat> this is 31st. So, the 1st of November, 2nd of November. So, 2nd of November, we have a new candle, Monday. <clears throat> so, what's going to happen is the new candle is obviously going to be green for a couple of days, try and catch its breath, because this candle was very red. So, what's going to happen is the market is most likely going to pull into here for a little bit, right? So, look for pullbacks into here. When the market now starts coming back down again, like so, fire down, fire down, okay? Um, so that's pretty much it. This is, has even given us a reference point. So most likely we're gonna pull, not necessarily gonna pull back into there, but I know that the next candle is gonna try and catch its breath because a whole month of this red, we must see some form of green, try and touch it, try and touch it, try and touch it. So look out for selling opportunities uh, from a bounce from this region um, down to here. So guys, this is 12,000 points, this is 10,000 points. So between here to here is 2,000 pips, just like that. 2,000 pips, easy. Be smart about it, get into the trade, hold it. As it's coming down, you can keep adding more sell, you can go sell, you move close. You know? But now you know the direction is coming down, right? If you want to take a buy trade, be careful. Know that the overall flow is coming down want to take a buy trade, whatever it gives you, take and relax, okay? So I guess we're on the same page with that. Yes, they accept Botswana residents. Um, somebody's sending me emails. All right, cool. So um, let's see, any more questions? What about the results? So SA, that's what we do with the results on the far left. Can I use? $50 to trade that. I don't know, Caleb, I'm so sorry. I wouldn't know. I'm so, so, so sorry. I wouldn't know if you can do 50 bucks to trade that. I wouldn't know. I'm so sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. I'm so sorry. So let's ask one more question from YouTube and then I have to go. Okay, wish you could add more tutorials on entries on the Forex machine to broaden our view. Good, thank you. I'm going to write that down. Benjamin, you have that. Your order is coming right up. Your order is coming what right up. Your order is coming what right up. I got you, bro. This month, I really want to focus on updating the Forex Mastery, updating all the courses, and just basically helping you guys out. Um, so let's see. My question is, I'm just wondering if NAS 100 is the same as NAS 100 UK. I just want to know. Um, SA, I'm going to have to check that out. I don't really know. I don't really trade most of these indices that you guys love to trade. I notice you guys love to trade indices. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start trading them or start doing analysis and start trading them so that I can obviously come and help you guys and answer your questions a lot more. But I'm more of a currency person and I love gold. Okay, so uh, I think that's pretty much it. But since you guys love indices, I will try as much as possible. Indices, I don't think I've... If I trade indices 10 times, I'll probably be right 11 out of 10 times. I'm not even gonna lie, because indices are so easy to predict, especially the S&P 500, love it, love it. So um, is, this, is this Zoom call recorded? How do I get it? I came late. The recording is gonna be live on my YouTube channel. Go on there to watch it. Do we have any more questions before I have to leave you guys? It is 6 p.m. already. I've been here for two hours. God damn, man. Been here for two hours. Um, please attend to my question. So I have issues with trading the break of the trend line with candle close, or we should wait for the return. Candle close, four hour candle close is all you need. Four hour candle close is all you need. Okay, so please, US 30. Um, oh gosh. Where's the US 30? Now, I don't really like the US 30 that much. <sighs> Let's see. It's not loading. No. This is the Dow Jones Industrial Average. What I like to trade is the S and P five hundred SPS. Sorry, sorry. This is SPS. Um, 
this is the X case, but I know. Guys, can you guys remember, if you guys have been with me for a while, one of the, remember early on in the year when COVID-19 started and then the whole market was tanking, I said, guys, look out for this level. This is the turnaround point. Market came in here. We have gone and we are now above pre-COVID-19 highs. So guys, forget what they're telling you on the news. Come on your chart, very simple. Looking at this chart, all I need to do is two things. Monthly time frame. what is the flow? Flow is flowing north, simple. Can I draw a trend line? Yes, draw it. Fantastic. Okay, what next after drawing the trend line? Where is the market currently trading at the moment? It's trading about here. Is there a range? Is it making significant higher highs? Well, not really making significant higher highs. Uh, from what I can see, I can see a slight range. Okay, let me see, maybe I can put a range somewhere around here to see. It's not every time you put a range, you put a range when you start to see double tops and double bottoms. As you can see, there was a major scuffle around here. All right, cool. And there you go. All I did was I waited for the bounce of here, okay? Market came in here. I started buying somewhere around this candle here. I remember selling during COVID. I bought around here as well. My take profit was at the top of this S&P 500 around here. Very easy and very straightforward. Guys, forget about what they tell you on the news. It's easy and straightforward. Higher time frame will tell you everything you need to know. Do find the flow of the river. I knew this was going to come here. In fact, once the market came here, how did I know the market was going to come here and turn around? It's easy. Look at this is support. This is support. This is a major level. Plot it here. Draw your trend line. Everything came in confluence here. It came here. It turned around. It should green. Green means go, go, go. Scroll to daily. Look for a good daily setup. Click the buy button. It will give you all the pips you want. It's not rocket science. This is top. Ladies and gentlemen, this is top-down analysis in a nutshell. On that note, I'm going to have to leave you guys. If you have not already joined the, joined the, if you have not already joined the, um, oh, you can't see my screen. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. This is what I was talking about. This is what I was talking about. Let me quickly take it again. So very simple monthly time frame. Connect if it's heading higher, draw trend line. Look, are we seeing only double top, double bottom? If the market is not moving smoothly, double top, double bottom. If it's stressing you too much, put it in the range. Put it in the range. The market came home here, started turning around. Um, I knew this was COVID-19 issues, shorted around here, took my profit here. Why did I take? Why did I know the market would turn around here? Simple because this was support level. I when I drew my trend line. Conference between this and this it came in here, and I saw a green candle, monthly bullish engulfing candle. Came on a daily time frame. Look for a buy opportunity. I placed my buy. Green means go, 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 go. Where did I take out my profit? I took it out here. Why? Because this is previous resistance. Easy as that. Right now, what is S and P 500 doing? Two things are involved. If we can stay above here, sky's the limit. If not, we we'll break down into here. Like I said, with Donald Trump winning the election. Mm. my head higher so that's all i have to say so guys i can see people jump dropping off the call already that's not really cool so guys i will see you guys in my subsequent webinars um like i said my subsequent webinars are only going to be for people who are on forex mastery and who have infinox trading accounts um if you want to find out about where you can get the forex mastery join the telegram group and yeah and create your account and i'll catch you guys in the subsequent webinars all right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you very much for coming out. It's been two hours of speaking, speaking, speaking. Ah, missed the class, blah, 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 blah. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Fisayo. Shout out to you. Thank you, Greg. Thank you for coming up. Greg, I saw you just joined the Forex Mastery. Welcome to the Forex Mastery. Welcome to the family. Uh, Fisayo, I always see your message. Um, shout out to you. Thanks, boss, for your time. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for staying till the end. I'll catch you guys in my subsequent webinars. Most of you guys, I know you guys are on Forex Mastery, and I'll definitely see you guys in subsequent webinars. All right, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, even though my question wasn't answered. Sorry, Catherine, send me a Telegram message, I'll answer it. Please, can I get the recorded version? Check my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot, so we're going to the Forex Mastery. You better do that, do that right now. Message Sarah in the
Sarah, relax. This shit don't go off until I want it to go off. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, all right, cool. So, message 